Hi again. It's Blake from Northwinds Wilderness School. I want to talk to you today about this plant here. This is the staghorn sumac or roost typhina for those who are paying attention. Um, there's a lot of things you can do with this tree. Early in the spring you can eat the new shoots and the new growth. Um, but today I want to talk to you about the, smooth, the staghorn sumac iced tea. These little berries here are what we're looking for. You've probably seen these along highways and uh, hedgerows where you live. This dark red color is what you're looking for. And if I can get a hold of one here, you want them to taste nice and sour. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. So I'm just gonna cut this whole cluster. You don't need the individual berries. And we're gonna come over here Now, I've not been able to confirm this, but I've heard that this is the origin of pink lemonade. And tomorrow, we'll find out why. But all we're going to do is take these whole berry clusters, you don't need to clean them or anything, and we're going to put them right into our jug. You're, you're looking for about half the volume of your jug in berries. These also taste good to just pull off the tree and chew on them. I wouldn't swallow them. They have kind of a hard nut in the middle and they have a little bit of a weird texture. But you can chew on them, get the juice out, spit out the pulp. And as long as they're ripe, which these are just about perfect, they're delicious. So you can see, with all the empty space and gaps in here, we're looking at about half a gallon of berries in a gallon jug. Then we're gonna take our gallon of clean water and pour it right on top. Now, we don't need to cook it, we don't need to boil it. All we need to do is let this set for 12-ish hours. Uh, so I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator overnight, and then we'll meet back with you tomorrow morning to see how it tastes. Thank you, have a good night.